Okay, here's the window on my Jeep Renegade right here. We're going to test out this window breaker. A one and a two and a three. Hello friends and welcome to Tony's Reviews. Today we're going to be checking out another As Seen on TV item and this is the Bell & Howe Tack Pen. This Tack Pen says it's a 9-in-1 flashlight pen. These are $19.95 on Amazon, and I will have a link in the description and also one of the comments if you want to pick one of these up after the video. It shows right here some of the different features on here. It shows a flashlight. It shows a Phillips and flathead screwdriver. It shows that you can just use this as an ink pen. Duh. It also shows that you can use this as a whistle, I guess maybe for emergencies, if somebody's trying to get at you. And then you've also got, uh, it shows it breaking some window glass here. Will I break window glass? You'll have to watch the entire video to see at the end. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. Who knows? And then right here, you're going to see it's a bottle opener, and it also can use, you can also use this as an emergency strobe light. So see that right there? Okay, so it shows a strobe effect. It does say batteries included, so that's a good thing. Okay, enough jibber jabber. Let's open up this tactical pin and check it out. Got it out of the box. And there it is behind plastic. All right, let's get out of here. I thought this was going to take maybe a double A or a triple A battery, but it looks like it's got the little button size batteries there. Put those in there. First things first, let's turn it on. And of course, as usual, I put the batteries in backwards. I don't think I have ever put the batteries in a flashlight correctly before. Okay, it automatically came on. All right, so there we go. There's the flashlight. Oh, that strobe's pretty cool. So right from the start, we have some action here. So it's got the on position, and then it also does strobe. I'm not going to look directly into it, but that strobe looks pretty impressive right there. That might scare somebody off. Oh, feature I almost forgot to show. This light, you can see here, it's pretty wide beam here on uh, the wall. You can actually adjust it so that it pinpoints a little bit. So there it uh, focuses that light a little better, and then you can just bring it back out so it's you know more broad. So there you go, and then pinpoint. The regular tack flashlights do that too. I did a review on those. Click on the link above if you want to check those out. The flashlight was pretty easy. This does come with some instructions, so I'm going to thumb through those real quick. Whew! I hate to read. I wish this would have came with a DVD. I've never written with this pen yet, so you're going to see it right from the start. Okay. Okay, that's a good sign. I didn't have to like, you know, hold up a big lighter to this or anything to get it going. So that's a really good sign. And it feels like it's writing fairly good too. I mean, I know I didn't write anything. Let's, let's write some things on here. Okay, I'm somebody that doesn't like a real sharp pen. So this actually works pretty good for me. It's not like, you know, a real tiny, uh, point on there. So, you know, 0.5 or whatever, it seems like it's got, you know, a, a medium size head on there and it write, you know, it wrote that pretty well. So anyway, I like that. It actually is a great writing pen. I like it a lot. Okay, so I think this pen's pretty awesome. And now that I've used this ink pen, I'll probably be using this as my regular ink pen. All right, so I got a little worried though. I started thinking, what if the ink runs out on this baby? You take the top off and I see there's a cartridge there. I researched it and I found that Amazon sells a tack pen replacement kit. I think it's got a couple sets of the batteries and it comes with like five uh, ink heads. Don't take my word for that. You'll have to check it out. But anyway, it's $10.99 on Amazon. I will have an Amazon link in the description and also in the comments of this video for that as well. So now I don't have to worry about running out of ink for this baby. Okay, let's test out the whistle. Here's the whistle. irritating and my ears are ringing so this puts off some decibel yeah my ears are ringing right now so for real i don't know how well it translates to the mic but this thing is loud so great whistle hey baby all right check that whistle out there up close looks like the old-fashioned whistles that grandpa used to whittle except this one's made out of plastic okay let's check out the screwdriver now I like how this thing screws together when you're using it in different ways because now I've got more of a you know longer screwdriver here. So I've got that screwed together there. You can see there's the Phillips head. And let's change it out. And yep, there is a flat head on the other side. And this feels like it's made out of a decent metal. 
I mean, obviously, you don't know how good it is until you test it out on something really hard, but I'm guessing this isn't going to be like a go-to screwdriver for everything. It's just going to be, you know, in case you're in a pinch. All right, so let's try out the screwdriver and see how well it works. Okay, got the Phillips on there. I'm going to pretend that I'm taking apart my pink treadmill here. Okay, so I was able to remove this Phillips screw and I'll put it back in. Oops, I accidentally turned on the flashlight. That might be a hazard. Since I've got it right here, let's check out that diode. See it there? Turn that on. Ooh, it's bright. And there it is in flash mode again. And we'll try it. Oh, yep, the screwdriver works in this just fine. So, yep, screw's coming out. Super easy. Okay, screwdriver's okay. Okay, we've got a delicious IBC root beer right here. I've got the bottle opener on this pin ready to go. So there's the tack pin, bottle opener, and an IBC root beer. Let's see if we can remove the top with the bottle opener. Oh, one try. Two tries, okay. It took me two tries, but I got it off of there. So the bottle opener does a pretty good job. You got to see it here? All right, so it works. Okay, so now we're gonna test out the glass breaker on here. You know, this is supposed to be for window glass in your car or something like that. You can see there's the little pinpoint thing, right there's the actual pin, but this is the glass breaker head and right there it is. I'm willing to sacrifice the window in my car just so that you can see if this little tack pin actually works. Okay, here's the window on my Jeep Renegade right here. We're going to test out this window breaker. A one, and a two, and a three. <laughs> Almost had you, didn't I? Okay, kids, don't try this at home. I've got on some safety goggles and a safety glove, and right here is the head that's going to break the glass or attempt to break the glass. Okay, I've got the bottle here inside of a Walmart bag, hoping this contains the glass. I'm going to try to bust it with that point right now. So here we go. One, two, and... Three. Didn't work. One, two, and three. Ooh, busted right through it. So the second time I actually gave it some force and it busted right through that glass. And you can see the glass has shattered. The second, uh, the second time I hit it, it actually busted right through. I gave it a little force. I was wearing a glove and eye protection, but I tell people do not try this at home. I was just testing this out. And I'm using the flashlight right now so that we can look at it. And you can see it did bust this bottle pretty easily. Something I'm going to admit to is I'm kind of weaning it out here. In the commercials for the tack pen, they actually show them freezing this in a block of ice and also putting this in boiling water. I'm going to tell you this. I like the pen on this so much, I don't want to ruin it. So I'm planning on using this, and I'm afraid that would ruin it. Because when I did review the tack flashlights, they did, uh, the water did ruin them. So I don't think it was even so much the boiling or the freezing. I think the water in general, they're, they're just not watertight. This may be, I'm not sure, I'm not testing that. If you want to see that, you can check that out in the commercial. Okay, so the tack pin itself, all in all, feels very well made. To me, it feels pretty sturdy. Uh, the two features I'll be using on this are actually the pin itself and uh, the flashlight. So I'll probably be using those a lot. And I am going to be carrying this around as my pin, you know, as long as this thing works. So hopefully this thing works for a while. I like the ink pin on it. Flashlight's going to come in handy. And you never know, these other features, you know, I might end up using them at some point too. The whistle did have a pretty heavy screech to it. My ears were ringing after using it. As far as getting somebody's attention, I think the whistle on this thing will do it. From what I tested, the functionality seems to be great. And folks, like I said, if you want to check one of these out, there will be an Amazon link in the description of this video and also one in the comments. If you enjoyed this video today, please hit the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see some more of my product review videos, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell. The bell will alert you anytime I release a new product review. Thanks so much for tuning into Tony's Reviews today and God bless you.